What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mark Chinook, Marcel Garcia, Black, uh, Black Belt, five-time world champ, big us. Guys, uh, if you are subscribed to my channel already, well, so welcome back. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribe. And if you uh, uh, consider to learn from me, so there's a lot of great videos right there. So please give us a subscribe and let help grow this channel, okay? So guys, on today's channel, uh, on, on today's lesson is gonna be all uh, uh, covered up three uh, umbers from mount, okay? So it's a very good ways that I, I, I like to apply umber from mount. So there's like umbers that uh, uh, white belt and black belt can do it. So basically I like to always tell the students or whoever I teach, uh, jujitsu technique is like exactly the same from white to black. But the question is how you apply them, how you train very often, okay? from mount which one the traditional one where I have like everybody goes on the side hold here right control the opposite side arm and then I like to hold the thumb okay and then one half right here move this left second so I like to go there there once I step up right here usually Matt protects his hands which he can connect the hands he can do a real nice yes so for here and then when I go he hands connected and then become a battle right here with this uh, grip, okay? So the tip that I really like to, to, to use here and I like to share with you guys, I don't want to get stuck right here. I know that my attack is going to come from defensive, okay? And one of the common defensive, connecting hands, maybe he connect hand, maybe he control his own collar. There's a variety of options, okay? So from here, what I like to do, before I pass my leg, okay? So once I go here, before I do this, I like to use my elbow high up on his hands, just like this. I'm not pulling to me, I'm pulling up. So I do like, I'm here. Once I feed these hands, my elbow stay up until I get to this collar right here. Now, when I come up, so if they can move around a little bit. So from here, when I step up, I don't wanna step up and leave this big gap for Matt to slide under, okay? So that's the second detail. The first detail, keep this hand up. So now look here. Once I go there and here, I'm gonna feed this hand, elbows high up to his hands. Once I hold right here, what I wanna do, I wanna pull his, his hands really up to me right here, okay? The camera, I'm gonna move around, you're gonna see it. So the hands, is, the arm is not bended, okay? So move back a little bit. So the arm is not back bended, okay? I wanna pull his hand off to me. So I have to slide this hand from the elbow a little bit up and slide, keep this hand away while I'm holding this collar. So this way, Matt cannot go uh, uh, connect your hands, see the hands far away. Plus, he cannot slide under me because his shoulder is off the mat. So I'm kind of like pull him sideways and back knee, move this way for a second. The back knee is on the back of his shoulder right here, so which he cannot move back. And then from here, it's a lot easier to pass. And then even now, even now from here, I keep pull his hands into me where he cannot connect the hands, connect the hands. And now gives me a time to go for the umbar, okay? So move back. So move this way, move back that way, camera. So from here, when I go, I like to go make if it's too slippery, not a big deal. You don't have to necessarily cop the, 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 cop the, the triceps. You can go on the arm. And now from here, I go that way. Once I pull him this way, see it? So from here, I go and pull this arm out the angle where he cannot reach and he cannot pull this elbow back. And then from here, gives me a really good umber setup right there, okay? So that's the detail number one. Pull him sideways and keep his hand apart, extending the arm, okay? I really like this detail. Uh, helps me get close and safe on the umber. So let's move on to detail number two, which the one traditional way here, I always like to set up my openings. One of the best way I recommend all the white belts, all the lower belts, even the higher belts, the, the, the higher rank. You don't just go for the umber, okay? Don't just 
control the arm. So force the high mount. The high mount is a really good way. So I want to get low as I can under Matt's armpit. So how I'm going to do this? I'm going to use my hand on his head so he don't follow me. If I just try to walk, you don't block right here. Every time I go, he follows. So what I'm going to do, I want to block my forehead, my forearm is on his head, and I move my arm, my knees under his armpit, where his armpit might be here, his armpit might be here, doesn't matter. I want his elbow me. I want my arm, my legs under his armpit, under his elbow if it's possible, okay? When I get here, what I want to do, I like to call this position a dark room where I suffocate him a little bit just to get a reaction that the pushing, okay? So what he's going to do, he's not going to push me towards his leg, he's going to push me over his head because that's the only option I'm giving to him. So once I get here, what Matt going to do, he's going to start pushing me with the hands, exactly, that's what I want. If you, if you go uh, circle around the camera this way for a second, if you see it, his angle, he's not pushing me out that way. So move back, I'm here, now I'm suffocating him right here where he pushed me away. Now that's the transition right here, my hands... Let's go on this side. My knee, I keep pressure on his arm because I want to get close and keep his arm stiff. My knee, cover it up, touch his head. At the same time, I cup it up his head, hug. Now I go right on the hands. Now from here on this side, I need to readdress on this side as well. My hand, my foot goes there. So from here, there. Now that's the best trick right here. I don't put my hands on the mat on the same side that I am. I put my hands far away, where it's easy to pass my leg right here, and it's really good. Pinch your knees and just sit back. Now I have a really good umba set up right there, okay? So one more time. I'm here, I'm on the mount. I wanna move to the head and walk up to high mount. Once I'm here, he's not gonna like that. He's gonna push my hands on the mat, Knee, my leg gets lighter, block the knee, the, the head, control, switch my base, my hand goes on the mat. I can go like upside down right here, but since I teach a lot of beginners, I don't like to go upside down and the person get hurt. So I like to teach them how to have a good control, control the arm, my knee, my foot go next to the other, the other side of the head, hands on the mat, this to bring my weight to the hands and pass nice and easy. So this detail number two is a very technical way where I like to uh, uh, share with uh, especially beginners. So now let's move on to detail number three, which this one uh, uh, requires a lot of my partner's reaction, okay? And one of the common reaction here, when I'm escape, when he's escaping from mount, is try to trap my leg in a half guard. And the best way to do this is get into the side. So I'm gonna count on the escape. So for example, I'm here, Matt gonna go, to this side and trap my leg. If I just left, he's gonna put my leg there and now he trap in the half guard. So I'm gonna count on that going for the S mount or the technical mount, whatever you guys prefer. So whenever he goes, my weight goes in my hand and shove my weight to the side. Now I'm gonna explore this arm with the next arm right here. So I keep pushing, control his watch, that same arm, uh, the arm that goes head over the head, control the watch, goes over right here, control the Kimura trap. Now from here, lean my weight towards my hand, my foot, pass and sit, control, and then go for the armbar, okay? So this detail number three is counting on the first escape. So he goes again, here, I go over the shoulder. Now from here, two ways that I like. Number one, Kimura trap, and then pass the leg over. Or two, when I'm here, I don't want this arm here, okay? I want to go on this arm here, so I want to get my elbow and lock, hold the arm and keep my elbow very tight. Lock right here, use a frame, this arm is extended, keep my elbow tight, step, boom. Now the arm is right here under my armpit and I'll go from there or just go back here, okay? So one more time, go for the Kimura trap or, so I want to escape, S mount. So now look, his arm is right there. Elbow, block, control. Look, I'm kind of turning into his leg. So from here, all the way there. Pass, on board, okay? So those are the, my three favorite ways to 
apply armor from mount okay so i hope you guys like and please consider to subscribe the channel if you like this video and consider to learn from me okay and also if you like to check it out my instructionals at bg fanatics i'm gonna put the link below on this video make sure you check it out okay so you can find on uh, bgfanatics.com i'm gonna drop right here for you okay and please guys feel free to share comment and subscribe thank you